Yeah. All right, guys. So we're here with the lovely A Push teacher, Miss Morel. So we have a few questions for you um, about China in general. So do you know any of the geographic features in China? Uh, I'm decently ignorant, but I know that it's pretty mountainous. It has some major rivers, major ports. Um, and we'll kind of stop there. They have a great <laughs> wall, right? <laughs> we'll stop right yeah. up there. It's not very really geographic, but I mean, you can see it from space. So I'm told, so it works. All right. It works. Next question. Uh, what is the econo uh, educational system like in China? Uh, my understanding is much more rigorous than here in the United States. Students are expected to be in school or working on school activities all day. Um, very little free time. A lot of the students I've taught have come and told me, you know, school Monday through like Saturday. You get one day off a week and the rest of it's like tutoring or studying or, or doing something that has to do with education and bettering your chances of passing the test. Yeah, so could you elaborate on this test? What is this? Well, I haven't taken it, <laughs> but um, apparently it's a very rigorous test that really determines whether or not you'll be able to go into higher education in the area that you want to go into. So it's very limited and very, I guess, elite-ish. All right. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but I'll we'll go with sure. elite. All right, so let's move on to the government. So how, how does awesome. the government system work in China? government system in China has evolved over time. It is a communist country. So China, for the most part, controls uh, all the factors of production as well as having the one party in power. Um, but as of recently, they've led up a little bit on having private industries, allowing private industries in China, which has actually helped them, their economy grow, as I'm sure Americans yeah. are well aware of China growing. Right. So what do you think the future of communism in China will be? I think it's going to grow in power, increase in power, and lose the party. Ooh, it's hard to say. They have a pretty strong grip right. on everything that's going on. It's just a matter of whether, I mean, whether or not they can maintain it. I mean, that's really where dictators and governments that rely on militarism where they get their power from, how long they can hold on to it. Um, I don't know, it's a toughie because we didn't really think they'd last very long. We didn't think Cuba would last very long either. We thought the Soviet Union was going to be here forever. And now look what, we've got China and we've got Cuba, but where's the Soviet Union? You know, so it's, it's kind of hard to say. Um, right now they're doing great economically, so I don't see anything really changing. We're borrowing money from them like crazy. So, hey, obviously they're stable enough for us to get money from. Yep. So, um, any other things you would like to share about your knowledge of China and Chinese food? <laughs> Chinese food. I like Kung Pao chicken. <laughs>